The Global Fund at the just-ended World Health Assembly in Geneva sent a strong signal to the Ghanaian delegation it may sever ties with the country if the commodities are not cleared as a matter of urgency. The delay has been attributed to government's inability to provide funding to cover the cost of ECOWAS and African Union levies. Members of the country coordinating mechanism of the Global Fund, as well as civil society organizations, have even threatened to hit the streets on June 25 over the issue. On Wednesday, June 12, the minority in parliament gave government an ultimatum to clear the commodities. Ranking member on the health committee, Kwabna Minta Akando, described government's inaction as being insensitive to the plight of the public. These drugs have lifespan, and some of them are expiring. I knew, and I've always known, that this government is irresponsible, but I didn't know this level of irresponsibility. But the health minister, Dr. Bernard Okoboy, is now ensuring the commodities will be cleared soon. Irrespective of the bureaucracies involved with government and all that, I have given myself two weeks. In two weeks, I myself will not be encouraged if there is two more or one more container left at the port. We could have, I've said it somewhere, we could have handled it in a better way. But we don't want to go into the past. We want to make sure that going into the future, these things don't recur. Meanwhile, the Ghana AIDS Commission has expressed alarm at the behavior of duty bearers. Director General of the Commission, Dr. Etiahin Treme, says the delay is a setback to Ghana's efforts to achieve holistic health delivery. It shouldn't have happened at all and at all. It doesn't happen in any country, not even in Mali or uh, Niger, which are less resourced than Ghana. And it is because duty bearers failed to do their duty. Ghanaians wait to see if the promise by the health minister will materialize or if it will be another lip service. Sarah Apenkru, TV3 News, Accra.